I'm Jeff Shiver, Managing Principal with People and Processes. Today I want to share a little tip with you around how to improve your craft skills. Many times we hear, well, we always need training, but we never have the funding to do it. Well, one of the things that you're probably overlooking is your vendors like SKF and Rex Roth and those other guys. What they'll do is they'll, they'll come and provide training for you. Maybe it's an hour, maybe it's two hours. As an example, one of the things we've done in the past is we had SKF come in and the plant manager said, hey, we'll take all the technicians over and we sat them down in a restaurant. They can just ask the SKF guy questions about the training, you know, what is it specifically they want to know about bearings or whatever. And that's the way the SKF engineer approached it. So they got to ask opportunities and I'll share a little quick story with you about that. It was interesting because the SKF engineer says, okay, well, what, what problems are you having with this particular bearing? And they said, well, you know, we're seeing it fail frequently. And they asked the question was, he said, well, how are you installing it? And they said, well, you know, we, we hammered on with a brass punch. And they said, wow, man, you're killing the bearing. And so it was enlightening for the technicians, even though to you and I that was common sense, they didn't realize that. And, but then he asked the question, he said, okay, well, how many of them do that way? And he says, well, we probably do 40% that way. He said, wow. He said, well, how do you do the other 60%? And they said, well, we take a torch and we rosebud it. Well, again, that's the worst thing you do again because what you're doing is you're warping the races and stuff. So just goes to show you, you know, that you can use training like that. It's at low cost or free, and basically it just costs the hours of your labor to actually go through the training. And you might think about scheduling them on opposing shifts or when the shifts bubble up or something like that as an option too. But again, make sure you use that. And when you have them come in, sit down with them in advance and say, hey, this is what I'd like for you to cover, and make sure it's not a sales pitch, and tell them to take the sales out of it and just focus on craft skills. But like SKF does, bearings and um, installation and how to demount bearings and all those kind of things. So use the vendor tools that you can and, and reduce your cost and get craft skills training in the process. So hope you enjoy the tip. I'm Jeff Shiver, People and Processes. Have a great day.